Public health officials want to avoid another measles outbreak in the Northwest this year, especially since last year most of the cases were kids who hadn't received their MMR shot. And last year was a big year for measles. In fact, it caused the governor to call for a state of emergency. Clark County led the way with 71 measles cases, 52 of which were kids 10 years and younger. Now across the state, people were exposed to this highly contagious disease just for going grocery shopping or attending school. And that's really what sparked this law change. Before, families could opt out of the MMR shot because of philosophical reasons, but that's no longer the case here. And while there are still medical or religious exemptions, all students have to give their schools either their shot records or their exemption certificates. Yet their teachers, the adults here, do not. Things like that have been talked about, but we don't have a policy in place and it doesn't, in the foreseeable future, doesn't look like we're gonna have one. That's coming from Seattle Public Schools and they're not alone. Every district we called said they don't track teacher vaccinations. One district leader even told me it might be a sticking point in collective bargaining. Often districts do say they could exclude teachers from campus if there was an outbreak, which is exactly what happened at Issaquah High School last year. That's when it shut down after one of its employees, you guessed it, came down with measles. And this is what they had to say back in May. I do think that uh, this experience has taught us something and I would expect that we're going to start a more proactive approach to getting the physical records. Yet, as school districts learn, they're not changing. When we called Issaquah High School this year, they said they're still not tracking vaccinations in teachers because they said it's not mandated by the state. When I called the state health department, they said there's no incentive for schools to keep track because it's not mandated. And when I called the State Education Association, they said I would need to check with every individual school district to see the local policy regarding teacher vaccinations. That idea is frustrating to some health experts, mostly because they stress herd immunity. That's when a majority of the population is immunized so that others don't have to be. Dr. Elizabeth Mead is the head of Swedish Pediatrics, and she says 95% of the community needs to be immunized, so every shot counts. And if no one's tracking a portion of the community, it could be an issue. Many vaccine preventable diseases, measles included, are highly contagious and can be easily passed from person to person. And for that reason, it's my recommendation as a physician that anybody who's in close contact with kids or teenagers or infants be fully vaccinated. So that includes parents, grandparents, daycare workers, healthcare workers, myself included, or teachers. One important thing to note, in the new law, caregivers at daycares do have to prove immunity. And that's likely because they're working with babies who are too young to have an MMR shot. And most schools do encourage teachers to get vaccinated, but right now there's just no one keeping track and so far no push to change that. But if there was, it might be up to our school boards.